This is Chapter 8, Lesson 5, Volume of Pyramids. A lateral face is any flat surface that is not a base, and a pyramid is a three-dimensional figure with one base and lateral faces that are in, uh, in the shape of triangles. In a polyhedron, any face that is not a base is called a lateral face. The lateral faces of a pyramid meet at a common vertex. The height of a pyramid is the distance from the vertex perpendicular to the base. The volume of, the py of a pyramid is one-third the area of the base, capital B, times the height of the pyramid, H. So for example, if I had a rectangular pyramid, and I know it's a rectangular pyramid because its base is a rectangle. Well, let's think about that for a moment. What is the area of a rectangle? The area of a rectangle is length times width. And that's our base. So if I were to plug it into this formula, volume equals one third, and my H on the other side, big B, capital B, area of the base is simply length times width. If my pyramid was a triangular pyramid whose base is a triangle, a triangle area, triangular area is one half length times width. And here's why. If this is my rectangle, if I cut it in half, I have a triangle. So the area of a triangle is half the area of a rectangle, thus half length times width. So the volume of a, or a triangular pyramid is one third, my H comes down, and inside the area of the base is one half length times width. Take a look at letter A. Find the volume of the pyramid round to the nearest tenth. First thing you need to do is recognize what type of pyramid it is. Look at the base. The base is a rectangle. The area of a rectangle is length times width. So here we go. Volume equals one third, capital B. Yes, it must be capital H. Volume equals one third. The area formula for that rectangle is length times width, and then height of the pyramid. If we look over here, the rectangle, here's the length and the width of the base, and this 2.8 refers to the height of the pyramid. The height of the pyramid goes from the top all the way down to the center of that base. So volume equals one third. Length is 3.2. Width is 1.4. Height is 2.8. Now we just use our calculator. For the one third on your calculator, you can type in parentheses 1 divided by 3. That'll take care of one third. So one third times 3.2 times 1.4 times 2.8. Your volume is 4.181, round to the nearest tenth. Volume is 4.2 cubic inches, or inches cubed. Letter B. Find the volume of the pyramid round to the nearest tenth. This time, our base is a triangle. The area formula for a triangle is one half length times width. So volume equals one third big B H. Volume equals one third. The formula for my base is one half length times width. Bring down the height. You can put in the calculator 0.5 when you get to one half. So volume equals one third. I'll put 0 0.5 over here. This is the length and the width of the base. This is the height of the pyramid. 8.1 is your length, 6.4 is your width, 
and the height is 11. Plug it in on your calculator. You get volume equals 95.04. Round to the nearest tenth, 95.0 meters cubed. Find the volume of a pyramid that has a height of 9, a rectangular base with a length of 7 and a width of 3. Volume equals 1 third big B H. Volume equals 1 third. We have a rectangular pyramid. So it's just length times width for the big B. And of course, we brought down our height. Volume equals, I already wrote my numbers to the side, 1 half length is 7, width is 3, height is 9. Volume equals, multiply them all together, 63 centimeters cubed. Letter D. Camilla is making a model of the food guide pyramid for a class project. Find the volume of the square pyramid. Now squares are rectangles. So we can use our formula for rectangle. Volume equals one-third capital B H. One-third, the area of the base is still just length times width, and of course height. In this case, our length, width, and height are all the same measure. Volume equals one third times twelve times twelve times twelve. Multiply them all together. You get volume equals five hundred seventy six inches cubed or cubic inches. Either way. Now you can use this formula to also find a missing dimension. So they can also give you the volume, but then find, have you find the missing dimension. So the rectangular prism shown below has a volume of 90 cubic inches. Find the height. So this right here is our height, length, width. Use your formula. Volume equals one third big B H. Volume equals one third. It is a rectangular pyramid. So length, width, times the height. This time we're given volume. Volume is 90. So 90 equals one third. Length is nine. Width is five. And I don't know the height. Now this time I don't have my variable all alone, so we have to solve it a little bit differently. What you want to do is take care of this multiplication first. One third times nine times five is 15. So you have 90 equals 15 H. And this is just multiplication, so we're going to divide by 15 on both sides. And you get 6 inches equals the height. So you're talking about height. It's a single dimension, so it's just inches with no exponent. Letter B. A triangular pyramid, triangular, there you go, has a volume of 44 cubic inches. It has an 8 meter base and a 3 meter height. It's really saying length and width. Remember, you could use base and height when you're talking about a two-dimensional shape, as well as length and width. Find the height of the pyramid. Volume equals one-third big B H. Volume equals one-third. The area of the base is a triangle, so one-half length times width. Bring down the height. We know our volume is 44 equals one-third times 0.5, length is 8, width is 3, I don't know height. 
So again, we're going to take care of this first. So 44 equals, this in the red box is equal to 4, bring down the H. Divide both sides by 4, 11 meters is the height. Letter C, a triangular pyramid has a volume of 840 cubic inches. It has a base of 20 and a height of 21, which again I'm going to call length and width. Find the height that we don't know of the pyramid, find the height of the pyramid. Volume equals one third big B H. Volume equals one third. It is a triangular pyramid. So our big B is one half length width. Bring down the height. Volume equals one third times 0.5 times 20 times 21 times the height. Oops, notice the mistake here. We have the volume. That's actually 840. I forgot to put that. There we go. Do what's on the inside of the parentheses. So we have 840 equals 70 H. Divide by 70. 12 inches equals the height. Last one. A rectangular pyramid has a volume of 525 cubic feet. It has a base of 25 feet by 18 feet. Find the height of the pyramid. Volume equals one third big BH. Volume equals one third is rectangular. So length times width times height. The volume is 525 equals one third. The length 25, the width 18, and H is the height. Again, we need to take care of this first. So 525 equals 150 times H. Divide by 150. H equals 3.5 feet. And not only can you use this method to find the height, if you were missing, for example, if you were missing a width or a length, you could also do the same thing. You would just have an L or a W instead of an H unknown. And that is Chapter 8, Lesson 5.